In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a scroll bar to a container using CSS. This can be very useful for displaying your website design in your portfolio, or use it for audio or video playlists, long articles, and here I used it for a listing grid. So without further ado, let me show you how to achieve this. So we're going to start with a brand new page. I'm going to add a new container, Flexbox Direction Row. Next, I'm going to go to the Justify content and align it to the center. Now we could add a scroll bar directly to this parent container, however the scroll bar works best with full width containers, and I don't want my content to take up the whole width of this parent container, that's why I'm going to add a child container. So I'm going to go to the widgets tab, and I'm going to click once on the container to add it to the parent container. Next I'm going to go to the content width, and I'm going to change it from boxed to full width. Always make your child containers full width. Make sure it is set to percentage, and I'm going to make it 45. Now let's go get the code. So I'm going to go to the code page. I'm going to scroll down to where it says vertical scroll bar. And we're going to start by copying the CSS class name. So Ctrl C to copy. We're going to go back. Make sure that your child container is selected. Go to advanced CSS classes and paste it here. Now let's go get the code. So we're going to go back. I'm going to click the CSS code button to copy the code. We're going to go back. I'm going to scroll down to custom CSS. And we're going to paste it here. Now let's add content to this container. So I'm going to click the plus icon. For this example, I'm going to use the form widget. So right now, as you can see, the container isn't scrollable. And that's because we don't have enough content in this container. So if we're going to take a look at the code, I'm going to select the container, advanced, I'm going to scroll down to the custom CSS. You will see that the max height is set to 40 VH, which means that only when the content inside this container exceeds this value, 40 VH, only then the scroll bar will appear. So if I'm going to change the max height from 40 to 20, you're going to see the scroll bar appearing. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to add content instead. So I'm going to select the form, I'm going to go to content, and I'm going to add another message box, another message, and another message. And now as you can see, we have the scrollable feature. Now let's go back to the code. I want to show you what other customization you can make to the scroll bar. The first one is you can control the scroll bar width. So right now it is set to 14. Let's make it 44 so you can see it clearly. So that's the width. Next we have the track color and track body radius. So right now it is set to black. Let's change it, let's say to gray. So I'm gonna highlight and type gray instead. And the body radius I'm gonna leave as is. Next we have the thumb color and thumb body radius. Right now it's blue, let's change it to red. So these are the customization you can make to this call bar. Now the last thing I want to show you is the mobile view. Let's see if it works over there. So I'm going to switch to the mobile view. I'm going to try to scroll and as you can see it scrolls and it works just fine. However, if you're going to add more content to this container, meaning more than one widget, for example, I'm going to take this form and I'm going to duplicate it. And now I'm going to try to scroll. I don't see the other form. For some reason it doesn't appear. So to fix it, I'm going to select the container. I'm going to go to layout, direction, and I'm going to set it to row. And now when I try to scroll, here's the first one, and here's the second one. That's a problem only for the mobile view. There's no problem for the desk view. So I'm going to go back to the desk view. I'm going to publish. And let's see how it works on the front end. I'm going to try to scroll. And as you can see, it works. So this is how you add a scroll bar to your container. And you can also add this scroll bar directly to a widget if you want to. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one.